Great communication with customers is something that can really set your business apart. Features in ServiceMate's desktop and mobile apps promote easy, consistent, and professional communication between your business and customers. Online, you can email or text a client about their job directly from their job card. Your account comes with some default email and text templates to suit certain situations. You can create more templates to suit your business by going to settings, then email templates and SMS templates. These templates are a really easy way to systemize. Creating good templates for your most common scenarios will make it easy to communicate with clients, save you heaps of time and keep messaging consistent across all your jobs and clients. When drafting an email, click here to choose from your templates. All photos and attachments in the job diary will be available as smart attachments you can click to add and click here to preview before sending. It's similar in the app. You draft and send emails to clients through their job card. In the job action bar, tap the email icon or tap here, then send email. You can tap here to change the contact or add a CC and here to set a template. Sent messages are saved to the jobs diary. To text clients from the app, tap this message icon or open the job actions menu and tap send message. Just like with emails, you can apply an SMS template or just type or dictate a message then send. A reply link will be automatically added to the end of your text messages, which your customers can tap to open a message portal complete with your branding where they can respond. For an even better messaging experience, clients can download the ServiceMate Messenger app. When a client replies to an email or text you've sent through ServiceMate, it will appear in the relevant jobs diary. You'll also see it in your notifications, both online and in the app, along with a push notification, which you can tap to open the job card. To help with staying on top of your service and response times, replies from customers also show in certain smart lists, such as the action required list, which among other things will include jobs with an unactioned email or text reply from the client or the replies list, showing only replies across all active quotes and work orders. And the quotes list, highlighting jobs with a quote status that have an outstanding reply to help you quickly see and answer questions from clients when they're considering your quote. If no reply is needed, you can clear it from the list by right-clicking here, then dismiss. To reply, go to the diary and click the down arrow here. It works the same for SMS. When a client texts you back, it appears in the job diary and you can view the full message history before responding. To reply in the app, tap the client's message in the job diary. When a client responds to an email you've sent through ServiceMate, it will also come through to your email account. This gives you the best chance to see it and respond quickly. If you're already working in your email account, while you don't have as much context as you do in the ServiceMate job card, you can still respond to the client here and it will be sent back through ServiceMate and onto the client. A copy of your response will automatically save to the job diary. This way, the diary in ServiceMate always captures the whole story. To call the job contact, tap their number here. If there's a separate billing contact, you can tap their name to get quick options to call or text. When you're ready to head to your next scheduled job for the day, start and navigate to the job. If a mobile number is saved against the job contact, you can send them an on the way text message in one tap. This will notify the client that you're on the way and provide an estimated time of arrival. This adds a professional touch which clients really appreciate. 
for added wow factor, activate the Track My Arrival add-on. This will add a special link to your on the way messages through which clients can see your progress toward them in real time. In the office, when clients call up asking if their technician is far away, you can see a lot about the status of technicians in the field through the dispatch board. In the staff schedules view, whenever a team member in the field has opened a job card and tapped start job and is either navigating to that job or they've checked into that job, an icon will appear next to their name here. So we can see that Charlie has checked in to job 109 about 24 minutes ago and Cameron is navigating to job 101 and should arrive by 9.30. If there's no icon display in here, go to the dispatch map and try to find them. If you can't see them, try clicking the down arrow next to their icon, then locate. When you find them, click the icon and you'll get a pop-up on how long ago they were at that location, and if they've actually stopped there, how long since they arrived. And similar to the icons we saw in staff schedules, whenever someone is navigating or checked in to a job, they'll have a box above them showing their status. Similarly, in the app, you can see the location of staff members in the Jobs tab. Tap Jobs, then tap Map. These features give you the visibility to confidently handle inquiries from clients and manage their expectations without lots of guesswork or calls back and forth between you, the technician and the customer. To get the best results, make sure everyone's devices are set to provide ServiceMate with location access all of the time. Everyone should also make an effort to navigate and check in to jobs properly. This keeps the rest of the team in the loop and will reduce interruptions throughout the day.